So what's going on, my beautiful people out there in the fragrance world? Welcome to PR Sense. My name's Jose, and here you'll find fragrance reviews for the common men and ladies at not too expensive prices. So I was walking through Walmart the other day, um, and I didn't realize that Walmart is selling Dossier fragrances, and they're like $29 for 1.7 ounces. Um, so I picked up two. I picked up a Chanel clone, uh, and I picked up a Sauvage clone. So I'm gonna do my first one for you guys on what I think about Dossier's, Dossier's um, Aromatic Star Anise, which is a clone of Sauvage EDT. So if you wanna know what I think about it, stick around and I'll see you in a second. Thanks guys. All right, guys, so like I said, uh, we're here to talk about Dossier's Aromatic Star Anise, which is a clone of Sauvage EDT. Not Sauvage Elixir, not Sauvage anything else, just Sauvage EDT. Now, Sauvage EDT right now is going for roughly $84. You can find that on Joma Shop. If you look in my description, uh, you'll see that there's a link to Joma Shop that gives you 5 to 10% off uh, on, on fragrances that you purchase there. Um, but... This is $85 for two ounces of Sauvage DT. I've gone through it a lot. God, I, I need to get another one. I really like it, but I really am a fan of Sauvage Elixir more. But it's so expensive. Anyway, so I bought I bought the Dossier version just to see what it what it smells like and everything. It they they have a very nice presentation. It comes in in this box, okay, and then you know you open it up and you get this. You know, the fragrance is in there. Um, you get a nice card with it as well. And it tells you the notes. It tells you what it's inspired by. It tells you the concentration, how it works. Thank you. Now, Dossier does have a really good return policy. If you don't like what you purchased, you can send it back to them for a 100% discount. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty good with that. Um, but... What do I think of this? Well, I've been spraying it quite a bit. And I've been spraying Sauvage quite a bit. And I don't think that they're exactly the same. The DNA is there. Um, <clears throat> you, can, you can tell they were going for Sauvage, uh, Sauvage EDT. But it doesn't, to me, quite hit the mark. Um, so... Their top notes are bergamot, pepper, and star anise. Their mid notes are lavender, nutmeg, and geranium. And then their base notes are patchouli, amberwood, and vetiver. When you first spray it, you get, you get more of the star anise, a little bit of peppery, a little bit spicy, and that citrus from the bergamot. That's what you get, but the star anise is really, really heavy. Whereas in Sauvage... <laughs> You don't get that. In Sauvage, it's it's a lot, a lot smoother. It's, it's you know, like I can spray Sauvage and immediately smell it, and I like it. Whereas this one, I spray it, and I get that star anise, and it's not my favorite scent right off the bat. The, the Atomize is really nice. I mean, everything about it is nice. It has a magnetic top, you know, so, you know, all of that. But... When you first spray it, yes, you'll get, if you know what Sauvage EDT smells like, you'll get that feel that it, they're trying to go for that. But then it's it's more, I want to say like star anise woody kind of feel to it. As it starts to dry down, it does become closer to Sauvage EDT, but it never quite hits the mark. If you don't know Sauvage EDT um, and you're with somebody that doesn't, you know, maybe has smelled it in the past, but, you know, doesn't really know the difference, you might be able to get away with this one. Um, for $29, it's not bad. It really isn't. But <clears throat> if you're expecting a really, really, really good 90% close clone to Sauvage EDT, this is not it. This, I would say, probably is more 50 to 60% Sauvage EDT. Um, 
And like I said, you get that DNA of Savage DT, but not, not, it doesn't, it doesn't hit the mark for me. And that's just me. It's longevity. Again, that's another thing. It's longevity on my skin is not that long. I may get three hours out of it. Um, and it's projection, maybe, you know, half an hour, an hour, uh, people will smell it, but it's not something where, you know, four hours later, you may get a compliment, you know, it, it's just not that, uh, I was wearing today tobacco rush by Afnan and four hours into it at work, these two women were behind me that I was helping and, uh, I heard them one woman tell the other, he smells really good. And the other woman said, yeah, he does. And that was like four hours later. And that's a tobacco scent, you know? I don't get that with this. And so I would use this more. I, I think this is really good for like, you're 17 years old, you're starting to get into fragrances, you're starting to want to learn about fragrances. For $29, not a bad buy for you guys. It really isn't. But if you're a more mature person that wants a really good scent and you're willing to spend a little bit more money, not a hundred, you know, not 90, you want to spend like $40 or so, there are a lot better Savage DT uh, fragrances out there. Wish I could give you an example, but I don't have one. Um, but yeah, there are a lot better Savage DT fragrances out there. But like I said, it's not a bad one. Just longevity not that great to me and the scent not exactly the same as sabaji dt so that's what i have for you for dossiers aromatic star anise is it good it's it's okay but you know is it something that you need to rush out there and get nah, i would say no um i would look and look at latafa look at afnan look at a moth um look at fragrance world see if they have a sabaji dt uh, clone if you don't want to spend the Sabaji DT money. Um, but if you're just, you know, on a budget and you want to try what it kind of smells like, not a bad one to get. So again, Aromatic Star Anise by Dossier. All right. So that's what I have for you. Next time I'll do one on gin Citrus Ginger, which is a clone of uh, Blue de Chanel EDT. Um, and if you want to know what I think about that one, keep an eye out for that video. As always, guys, I hope you liked this. If you did, please do me a favor. Please like, please comment, please subscribe. And always, always, always make sure that you guys be safe, you be loved, and I will talk to you later. Thanks, guys. Bye.